Psalm 102 Hear my prayer, O Lord, and let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in a day of my trouble. Incline your ear to me in a day that I call. Answer me speedily. Hello everyone, welcome to All for Christ. My name is Alan Bossman and thank you so much for tuning into this video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about the Bible, grow in your prayer life and just hear the word of God, then please consider subscribing us. That's what we do on this channel and it will make sure you don't miss the next video but also help this channel to grow so we can reach more people. So our prayer today is from Psalm 102 and it's a prayer for the afflicted. It's a prayer for when you have prayed so many times and you are overwhelmed and you've cried to God so many times and you are overwhelmed. And this is really a prayer to God, for God to hear and to answer, for God to not hide his face from you. And these are things that at times we feel like in our life. How many times do you feel like you've been praying so many times, you're praying every single day and night, you are crying and your circumstance is not changing and you become desperate and you don't know what to do with yourself. How many times do you pray so many times and then you wonder, has God heard me? Is God hearing me? Is God with me? What is going on? And you have so many questions and you don't know what else to do. This happens so many times in our life. So many things happen and at times we want things to happen the time that we want it to. At times we want things to happen the way that we want it to. But we always need to trust in God and in his timing. And the Bible says that we ought to pray and not to lose heart. And this is really an encouragement just to continue to pray to God. This is an encouragement to continue to cry out to God because he hears our prayers. God hears everything that we say. The Bible says in the book of Romans that we don't even know how we ought to pray, but the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, helps us in our weakness. God has heard our prayers. God has not forsaken us, but we need to continue to pray to Him. We need to continue to, to cry out to Him. We need to persevere in prayer. And really, this psalm is just focusing on that, focusing and crying out to God for God to hear us, for God to let our cry come to Him for God to not hide his face from us in a day of our trouble when we're struggling, when we most desperately need him, and for God to incline his ear to us and that he may answer our prayer. And I pray today that whatever is going on in your life, whatever you're struggling with, whatever the circumstance is, I pray that God will continue to strengthen you through the power of his spirit, that you will not give up prayer, but you will continue to cry out to God that he may hear us and help us in our time of need. Let us go to God in prayer. O oh, gracious Heavenly King, Father, we thank you today, Lord. Father, we bless your holy name and we worship you because you are our King and our God. You are our Saviour, you are our shield, and you are our glory, Father, and we praise your holy name today. Father, whenever we come into your presence, Lord, your word reminds us, Father, that you, Lord, are holy and you are light and in you there is no darkness at all. And Father, we just praise your name today. And Father, we just lift up your name today. And we bless your holy name for you are our God. And we thank you for what you have done for us through Jesus Christ on the cross. And we thank you, Father, for all the blessings and the grace that you have given us in our life, Father. Lord, we have not lost sight of all those things you have done for us, and we will never forget. As David said, bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all his benefits. Father, we will not forget what you have done for us, for you have been so, for you have been so good to us in our life. And Father, today we pray, and we ask also for forgiveness. Father, for in your sight, no one living is justified. But we know that through Jesus Christ, Lord, our sins were forgiven, Father. And you encourage us to come to you, Father. You encourage us, Lord, to come to you, Lord, and to confess our sins before you. And we pray today, Lord, forgive us for our sins. We pray today, forgive us for our mistakes. Clean our hearts and our mind, Lord. And purify us from all unrighteousness, Father. 
any sins that we have committed against you, Lord, please have mercy on us and clean our hearts and our mind and forgive us, Lord, for all our sins in the name of Jesus, Father. And Lord, we come into your presence today, Lord, and we pour our hearts and our troubles and our pains over to you, Lord. As the psalmist says, hear my prayer, O Lord, and let my cry come out to you. Lord, we ask that, Father, you will always hear our prayer. Father, we ask that, Lord, you will continue to hear us, Lord. Father, everything that we have cried to you, Lord, our tears, days and nights, our troubles, our struggles, our pains, Lord, when we pour our heart to you, Father, Lord, we ask that, Father, you will hear us. I pray for those under the sound of my voice, Lord, and I pray also, Father, that you will hear their cry and their pain, Father, whatever they're going through in their life, Father. Lord, whatever pain and challenges they are having, Lord, please hear their cry. Lord, let their prayers come to you, Father. As the book of Revelation reveals that, Father, our prayers, Lord, represents the incense that is burning in heaven. Let our prayers be as an incense, Father, burning ever before the throne. And we ask that, Father, you will hear us. And we ask that, Father, please. And we pray, Lord, do not hide your face from us in the day of our troubles. Father, when trouble comes and we are crying to you, Father, please, O oh Lord, hear us and help us. When trouble arises in our life, when trouble arises in our job, when trouble arises within our family, when trouble arises, Lord, within our finances, when trouble arises in all areas of our life, we ask that, Father, you will be ever present with us, Lord, through those troubles, that you give us the strength that we need to be able to stand in the midst of the trouble and the storm that surrounds us. Father, we pray that you give us the power we need to endure, O oh Lord. Give us the strength that we need to be able to persevere in this life. Lord, for many things seek to knock us down, Father. Many things, O oh Lord. We face so many circumstances and crises and troubles in our life, and at times we don't know how to deal with them, Father. There are so many times, Father, where we pray and we pray and we pray, Lord, and we, and we feel like we're not getting any response from you, Father. And Lord, we pray that you would give us the heart, Father. Give us the strength and give us the wisdom to understand, Lord, your ways. Help us, Father, to persevere in prayer. Help us to continue to cry to you day and night. Help us, Father, to rely on you. Teach us, Lord, to trust in you. Teach us, Father, to wait on you, Father. And Lord, do not hide your face from us in the day of our trouble. But Father, please always incline your ear to us and help us father in our life help us father in our life and in the day that we call father answer us speedily in the day that we call father we ask that please do not delay to help us please do not delay to redeem us please do not delay lord to save your children lord let your power continue to rest upon us let your grace and your goodness and your power continue to rest in our life lord and father our prayer today is help us to continue to cry to you. Our prayer today is that, Father, let our cry always come to you, Father, and teach us, Lord, to continue and to persevere in prayer. And help us, Father, to always depend on you, 